The James Webb Space Telescope is finally up and running, and you're not going to believe what can be ascertained from just the first image it has sent back. What looks like a picture of just a regular star is in fact the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe. And scientists are jumping with joy at the potential here for humanity to learn so much more than we already know about the space outside our atmosphere. This is the James Webb Space Telescope's first image explained. The James Webb Space Telescope is a mammoth project that actually began in the 1980s, before the Hubble Telescope was even launched. At the time, the Space Telescope Science Institute, or STSCI, was challenged by its director to begin thinking about what they would do after Hubble. How would they be able to envision missions that would be possible as technology extended into the 21st century? It was a matter of picturing the future and imagining what could be possible with sharper cameras, more sensitive equipment, and, potentially, a longer distance from the Earth than Hubble. Well, after about 30 years and $9.7 billion, the project was completed and named for the second administrator of NASA, James E. Webb, who presided over the Apollo missions and made sure that NASA focused on scientific research beyond just rocket technologies. The James Webb Space Telescope was launched on Christmas Day of 2021, and since then, has traveled over 930,000 miles away from our swirling blue bubble and situated itself in orbit about 3,000 times farther away from Earth than Hubble. Most recently though, the first of the mighty machine's extremely intricate scientific devices began to come online and we received the first images it has captured. The funny thing is, the image is just a star, a regular simple star, but it is still able to break the brains of the best and brightest that the scientific community has to offer. The James Webb Space Telescope is equipped with a very specific array of highly specialized scientific instruments that are designed to allow it to take incredibly sharp pictures in the vacuum of space. First off, it has an 18-panel mirror on board. The mirror has a polished area of 283 square feet, and only 9.7 feet of this is obscured by the secondary support struts. It has a collecting area of over six times that of Hubble and has a gold coating that will provide infrared reflectivity and durability. Extremely important as infrared makes up a lot of the work it does. More impressive than the actual specifications of the mirror is the fact that the James Webb Space Telescope actually assembled the mirror by itself upon arrival at its destination. Each of the 18 hexagonal segments had to be focused by the team and adjusted so that they are aligned onto a single point of light focused to within an accuracy of 50 nanometers, which is a tiny fraction of the wavelengths of infrared light in which it will observe. After this assembly and alignment was completed, it was able to engage its scientific instruments for the first time on location. These instruments inside Webb's Integrated Science Instrument Module include a mid-infrared instrument, otherwise known as MIRI, a near-infrared camera, dubbed NIRCAM, a near-infrared spectrograph, that's NIRSPEC, and a near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph confined guidance sensor, or NIRIS slash FGS. At the moment, only the near-infrared camera, or NIRCAM, is online, but the others are expected to begin working in two months' time approximately. The NIRCAM is a highly sensitive piece of equipment that is capable of detecting light at incredibly long distances. In order to test out the capabilities of this camera, the telescope set about taking a picture of a regular, normal, everyday star called HD84406. Not even important enough to have a name. However, the picture that was taken is actually one of the most fascinating, mind-expanding scientific achievements in modern scientific history. Why, you ask? It's just a star after all, and we've seen plenty of them before. Well, you haven't considered the rest of the picture. Yes, HD84406 is just a star, but firstly, the image quality is phenomenal, having been shot in glorious crispy HD. However, secondly, and far, far more importantly, the image displays dozens of other little dots of light, blotted all over the place within the frame. Every single one of these represents another galaxy that we had no idea existed. As we know, galaxies are millions, if not billions in some cases, of light years away from us, but we can see them. Consider as well that each of these galaxies could already be dead, or could have evolved in ways we never thought of. By the time the light reaches the range where the James Webb Space Telescope can capture it, it has had to travel for billions of years, 
almost back to the approximate time of the Big Bang. The first focused image that we have received from the James Webb Space Telescope is an absolute game changer. Of course, there's more than just looking at far away, possibly deceased galaxies for this device. It can also capture extremely high quality images of closer planets, observing whether they contain life-giving water or not. This is colossal news, as it could make it easier for us to identify other Earth-like planets that might exist, which is the kind of thing that really makes sci-fi seem possible. The image itself, compared to those received from the Spitzer Space Telescope and the WISE Telescope, which only showed blurry blobs, is remarkably sharp and can display crisply focused galaxies, right down to their structure. The exceptional resolution means that scientists might be able to identify the fates of these obscure locations. And while we only have the one image at the moment, we also know that the telescope has imaged the field through several filters. A look at each of the different galaxies' brightnesses will help us to uncover their distance from us, which then means that we are looking at potentially billions of years into the past. This is going to change everything. At the moment, the mid-course correction maneuvers have successfully allowed the colossal telescope to arrive at a slow looping orbit around the L2, or second Lagrange point, which, as mentioned, is about 3,000 times further away than Hubble but there's still a lot of work that must be done. The remaining scientific instruments must be cooled to 230 degrees below zero. And thankfully, this is being aided by the gigantic multi-layered sun shield that the telescope enjoys. Much more testing is also needed, as each of the parabolic mirror's hexagonal segments can be slightly tilted, rotated, and shifted to make sure that they all operate as one for the best images possible. The testing is going to take months, as will the incremental precision adjustments before each mirror can be brought to join the others to a single focus point. From here on, it's time to ask the question of what else we will see when the James Webb Space Telescope can produce proper images. Well, these won't be arriving for another couple of months at least, and what it will show is apparently a closely guarded secret. According to Mark McCarran, the Senior Advisor for Science and Exploration at the European Space Agency, ESA. He does, however, say that it will most likely be some kind of star-forming region. It'll be summer here on Earth before that happens, but the excited astronomers are champing at the bit to train their new multi-billion dollar gizmo on all kinds of amazing things that are out there in the solar system and far, far beyond. Remote galaxies from the dawn of the universe, an accretion disk spawning planets, an exoplanet's atmosphere that is similar to our own, or water on Jupiter in crystal clear HD. The options are infinite, literally. The telescope is less flexible than Hubble and is required to face away from the sun to keep its instruments cool. And so that means its visible range will be about 40% of the sky on a given day. And for it to see all of the sky will take six months. Its mid-course corrections that delivered it to the L2 zone actually didn't use as much fuel as NASA was expecting. And so there's plenty left to keep it in the L2 orbit for longer. This means that its operational time could last quite a bit longer than the anticipated 10 years, which means that we have longer to see more and more of the known and unknown universe, and everything that exists outside our own world. What do you think of the development surrounding the James Webb Space Telescope? Are you excited to see more pictures of billion-year-old galaxies? Would you be more interested in finding out more about our own solar system up close? Of course you would! To do so, hit that like button, subscribe to Space Infinity, and head to the archive.